You're not necessarily that guy who's been meditating 40,000 hours, but somehow you've found a shortcut to access your happiness. And in a way, these practices are really not about having superpowers. Who cares if you can jump in an ice cold lake? Fine. Maybe, maybe you won't drown if you jump in the ocean, if you fall off a boat. But really, it's not about that. It's about mastering control over your own biology, your own mind in a way that most of us don't think we have the power to. So tell us, how can you take a bunch of overweight, unhealthy people from the city and have them climb Kilimanjaro in their shorts and be great after just a few days of training? Like, how does that even work? Because, you know, you've been mastering this for 25 years. Yes. Uh, last time I climbed Kilimanjaro in shorts, the <laughs> oldest participant without former experience in mountaineering suffering from Lyme's disease. He did it in shorts in 31 hours. He is healing people with Lyme's disease now because he tested- And normally it's four days to go up, right? To get up there. Normally it's five to nine days and then 40% in well-dressed with a lot of layers, about 40% only a summit. Yeah. And in my case, everybody is going to summit and then in record times, we are defying all the existent physiological laws of acclimatization of uh, red cells and white cells. Uh, we just show a different paradigm. And that is possible in only, say, one day. Unbelievable.